many times that one could be given to despair, making the same speeches over and over. Today, I confirm what my colleagues behind me have said. The west of Ireland is the worst, with the exception of Cork Hospital. Um, Limerick Hospital has the highest number on trolleys. My own hospital in Galway has 44 on trolleys, 36 on trolleys in the accident and emergency, and eight hidden away in wards. And I've made the same speeches over and over. There's a letter from the consultant orthopaedic surgeons addressed to the minister sitting beside you, Mr. Fergus Byrne, back in um, March 19, telling us he can't stand over. He's sim simply becoming unbearable. 2,000 patients, a catastrophic waiting list beyond management and so on. I read it into the record at the time. And then we look at the hospital system in Galway. I kind of foolishly relaxed because the options appraisal said a brand new hospital in Merlin Park. That was 2019. Fast forward, nothing happened. So what did they do? They got another options appraisal and they said, let's build and keep building on the regional hospital. That's exactly what happened when I asked the person in charge, they said we despaired. There was no money coming for a hospital in Merlin Park, 150 acres. So now, ministers, you know what we have now is a jigsaw without a picture, many pieces. So in Merlin Park, we're getting a surgical hub, which is welcome. We're getting an elective hospital, which is welcome. No overall plan. Then on the congested regional site, we're building ad nauseum. Nobody really knows what's happening there. We look at the accident and emergency. Look, I've history of it here, no time to read it out. But let me tell you, the then minister, who's now the Taoiseach, a new building was the only solution to the problems in UHG 2014. And fast forward the whole way right up to 23, and we're still waiting for a new, not new hospital, because it's gone off the um, agenda, which I think is absolutely wrong. We're waiting for a new accident and emergency, which became something else then with the maternity and the children overhead. None of it has happened. In the meantime, we had another piece, a temporary accident and emergency to the hospital and so on. And in the meantime then, we had Slauncher here. And I welcome, honestly, some of the progress that has been made. However, it's an obscenity to have people on trolleys, isn't it? I mean, how many people in the Department of Finance or Public Expenditure have spent any time on a trolley? I'd really like them to tell us that. How many ministers have spent time on trolleys? One day, two day, three day, four days in Galway, their average times. And all the time we know that that's worsening the mortality and the morbidity rates amongst patients. And then we look at the National Treatment Purchase Fund. It was established in 2002. 21 years ago, usually the age of reason, isn't it, where we learn to be reasonable 21 years later. We're still funding, funding the private, helping the hospitals to make a profit. We're doing that within the country, outside the country, and up in the north of this country. We're doing that all of the time, when that was supposed to be a temporary measure. When we're not doing that, we're letting the... the, the um, lists build up and the very doctors that are not seeing the public patients on the public list still are now seeing them on a private list sometimes in the public hospital sometimes in a private hospital lately it was brought to my attention somebody waiting on a public list with unbearable pain in relation to hip replacement comes up with he has to borrow from his family twelve thousand euros to get the operation done by the very same consultant that couldn't do it on the public list i i could go on I actually, it's, it's just very, very difficult. I would be happy to work with you if I could see some commitment to a public health system with access for all. But the hypocrisy amongst the Department of Finance, Expenditure and the government as well in relation to this, while we fund constantly the private system and private radiology and all of that thing that we're doing. Finally, I'm over time, primary care, the exact same thing. We are we are privatising the whole primary care setup. Thank you. Thank you.